Welcome to How to Draw and Measure with Geospatial Data. In this video you will learn how to draw and highlight areas on the map, how to measure distances on the map. Let's begin on the map page by opening one of our saved projects. If you're not sure how to create and save a project, please watch the Getting Started video found on the resources page. To remind you where the projects are stored, we can find them in the hamburger menu in the projects tab. I'm going to select my previously saved Exmoor National Park project. The service takes me to the project including the datasets I layered onto the map. I want to be able to see a rough boundary line of the national park whilst also looking at the aerial photography. I'm going to show you how to use the drawing tools to highlight an area. First, let's fade out the aerial photography layer so we can see the base layer. To do this, select the Layer Manager icon to open the Layer Manager. Slide the point along the bar to change the transparency of the layer. I'm going to put it to zero. We can now clearly see the boundary line of the Exmoor National Park base layer map. To highlight this boundary line, I'm going to use the drawing tools. Open the hamburger menu, select the Map Tools tab and select the Drawing Tools drop down box if it's not already selected. There are different ways to draw shapes as well as place a point on your map. Let's use the Polygon tool to draw a shape. Click on the icon and begin to draw on the map. Click once to place a corner on the map. To finish the shape you can double click or click on the first corner you placed. When the shape is finished it will turn blue. If you're not happy with the shape, click on it once to view the options box and select the bin icon to delete the shape. Let's explore the other drawing tools. Go back to the hamburger menu and select a different tool. I'm going to select the rectangle tool. Place the corner on the map by clicking once. Click again to place the opposite corner of the rectangle for the size you need. The shape will turn blue when the last corner has been placed on the map. The rectangle tool is useful because you're not restricted to the shape. You can click once on a corner and move its position. You can click once anywhere on an edge and a new corner will be created, turning the rectangle into a polygon. I'm going to do this to make the shape closer to the boundary line of the Exmoor National Park. You can also do this with the Draw Polygon tool. To change the colour of the shape, click once on the shape to open the options box. Select the style editor icon and choose your preferred colour. Click and hold to slide the point along the bar to change the transparency and line width. When you're happy with your choice, close the box. Select the zoom area extent icon to see the entire shape on your screen. To label your shape, open the options box again and type in the text bar. Select the tick and your label will appear on your shape. Now that I have a rough outline of National Park, I'm going to turn the aerial photography layer on. The shape remains in place and now I can see a rough outline of the National Park. Now that we know how to use the drawing tools, let's see how we use the measure tools. Starting again on my saved Exmoor National Park project, I'm going to fade off the old photography layer in the layer manager. I want to take some measurements from a town to some nearby locations. I'm going to zoom in on the town to see the points of interest clearly. I'm first going to create a point at the exact location I want to measure from. To do this, open the Habegger menu, select the Map Tools tab and open the Drawing Tools. Select the Place Point icon. Click on the map where you'd like to place your point. I'm selecting the train station. Now when I zoom out, I can still see clearly where the station is. I want to know the distance from the station to this elevated point and then to another elevated point. Open the Haberger menu, open the Map Tools tab and open the Measure Tools. Select the Measure Distance Tools. 
Remember, the measure tools show up as red on the map and the drawing tools show up as blue. Click once on the point you want to measure from and click again to place the point and start a new measurement line. Double click to finish the measurements. The total distance of the lines is displayed in the red text box. To delete the measurement, click once and select the bin icon. Now I want to measure the area of the town. Select the measure area icon. Click once to place the corner on the map to start the measurement. Continue to click once to place the corners of the shape you are measuring. Double click to place the last point and finish the measurement. The red text box displays the area of the shape and the perimeter. The measurement can be saved in the project file. Go to the hamburger menu, select the projects tab and click save on the project you want to overwrite. Your drawing and measurements will now be saved. If you share the project with your course mates, they will also see the annotations. For more tutorials on how to use geospatial data, go to the resources page on the website.